guess who caught up on Demon Slayer manga? It me. I, I... Hey guys, it's Panda Jess and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I'd show you guys some new merch that I got from Creators Guild. If you guys don't know what Creators Guild is, it's actually one of my favorite clothing brands that makes uh, anime-inspired clothing. <laughs> um, if you guys have seen my Instagram and other YouTube videos, you've seen that I've done hauls and lookbooks uh, with Creators Guild clothing. They've actually done a lot of collections. They've done My Hero Academia, they've done um, Promise Neverland, they've done Darling in the Front. <laughs> So, uh, this is actually from their newest collection, which is the Demon Slayer collection. While I definitely wanted the whole collection, I kind of had to limit myself, so I opted for two out of, I think they had like maybe seven, six or seven pieces in this collection. Um, we're, we're just starting with two. I know that they've sold out of some stuff, but hopefully I can get more <laughs> because I really, I really need this whole collection, you guys. You can follow them on Instagram at Creators Guild or you can, and you can also um, follow their Hypletic, Hypletics, where they do specifically their um, jerseys, uh, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys. Okay. So the first one I got is inspired by Nesco, of course. I, I, I love Nesco with all my heart. Like, I'm so soft for her. Uh, very first episode, uh, I just, I fell in love. She's just, she's so cute. And then she can be, like, super small. And, like, just, like, all her little, I don't know, her little parts in Demon Slayer, I just, I love. I don't know. She's just super cute. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you you definitely know and um, can be embarrassed for me. <laughs> but I I love Nesco with like all my heart. Okay, so here is the Nesco top. <laughs> Isn't it cute? The pattern is obviously the pink pattern on her kimono. This is the back. I, I want to say that this is the, this is what's on the Demon Slayer uniform. I don't know why it's on Nesco's, but yeah. It's a crop top. I love crop tops. I love just this like baseball jersey crop top. I have maybe like two or three from their uh, previous collections, but yeah, I'm just, I'm a sucker for it, for it. I don't know if it's because I have like a short torso, so like I have to wear like shorter tops to make it look like I have a figure, but yeah. So here on the sleeve it says High Blethics Department. It says Type D Slayer. And then it says Creators Guild. I don't know. It's just really cute. I've already worn it, but I haven't taken any like nice shots with it so um really excited to wear it okay so the second one i got is um kanroji kanroji mitsuri kanroji she is the cute pink green haired girl <laughs> that we're introduced to in like, it's like the second to last, second to last, third to last episode of Demon Slayer. We don't get to see much of her in the last season, but you guys, guess who's caught up on Demon Slayer manga? It me. I, I'm caught up. So, you can only imagine like, me wanting to talk about it with you guys and not being able to because I may be spoiling, I may spoil some stuff, and I really don't want to do that, but I also want to talk about it, but I can't do that, so that's the predicament I'm in right now. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, um, obviously they talk about, um, Kanroji and, like, her 
not her whole story, but like bits and pieces and I just I fell in love with you guys. It's ridiculous. Like I I love her. I love I love the love pillar. Anyways <laughs> this is her Creators Guild jersey inspired by Ken Roshi. So since she doesn't wear a kimono, they basically base it off her look. It's pink and green. Those are her colors, her signature look. And it has embroidery on the back again. If you guys take a close like look, you guys can see like the little pink hearts. I love the pink hearts because she's the love pillar. <laughs> And I feel like they added these um, stripes because of her socks. They're like pink and they have like lines. It, that's kind of like what I thought they were going for. But yeah. So it says Hype Lathix, then Type Slayer, and then Creators Guild. And then instead of like the one that Nezco has, it is just like hearts on the bottom right here. The hearts. But then... Nesco's is this one and it's the color of like the the waist belt on her kimono so I don't know I just I love the little details of it especially since like it's all like fresh from reading the manga and like watching the last season so yeah I'm just I'm, I'm so amped on this you guys if you guys have watched or if you have if you watched the second season and if you are caught up on the manga let me know please we should talk about it we've got we've got some things to discuss <laughs> anyways um yeah kanroji is my best girl and nezuko is the waifu it's funny because we um i was talking to my friends about this and they're like what's the difference between the best girl what's the difference between the waifu and i literally looked it up so it says Best girl is usually referred to someone's favorite character in a series. So just, I guess it's just your favorite character. So best girl, favorite girl, best guy, or best boy, favorite boy character, which it makes sense. And then your waifu is a term for a fictional character that someone has great and sometimes romantic affection for. So, I guess in Demon Slayer, Kanroji would be my best girl. I don't know if I, if there's a waifu. I mean, Nezuko, I feel like, would be the type that a lot of, like, guys or, like, girls would be like, yeah, she's the waifu. But I feel like since she is, like, definitely little sister to me, like, how I see her, um, I kind of just like want to take care of her and like hold her and love her and cherish her. Does that count as a waifu? I don't know. Um, there's a lot of... I don't know. I have no idea. What do you guys think uh, between the waifu and the best girl? And like, who's your best girl? Who's your waifu in Demon Slayer? Let me know down in the comments below. I feel like all the girls in Demon Slayer are best girls, but yeah. Including Shinobu. Okay, can't, 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 no! Oh, okay, Shinobu, um, her, her jersey was really, really pretty. I, um, I really liked hers. It has, like, little butterfly, um, design on it, which is really, really nice. Um, and then, Kanao, oh my god, Kanao's just the sweet, sweetest, sweetest girl. I, I'm so soft for her, too. Mm, I don't think I can even rank them, like, it's like Kenroji, she's like, I feel her, like, I, like, in my heart, like, that, like, I'm, like, she's so relatable, <laughs> with, like, she loves food, and, like, oh, I can't even, because it's in the manga, I, I don't want to say anything, but just so you know, you guys, I relate to her the most. Uh, Nezuko and Kano are like in the same boat for me like they're small they're cute and like wholesome and I just I love them both and then Shinobu is just like the big sister that you've always wanted and for me to say that like I 
I am the big sister. I don't have an older sister, so um, that's basically what it is for me <laughs> and why I love her. So um, yeah, and plus she she's like not the strongest, but she's like her wit and like her cleverness um, and her like technique to to slay to demon slay. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, but yeah, uh, they have so many other, uh, characters that they did in this collection. They have Inosuke, of course, they have Zenitsu, they have Tanjiro, they have Gyu, because it's a really cool collection. Um, just, they, they went all out with this Demon Slayer collection, I love it. And I still don't have all of it, I'm so sad. <laughs> if you guys are at, uh, Anime NYC, you guys should check it out. Um, I think they still have, uh, they still have the jerseys available on their online store, except for Nesco. They are sold out of Nesco, I checked, so I'm, I'm, like, stoked that I was able to cop this one. I'm, like, so happy. And it's, like, it's super pink, and then this one's just, like, pastel pink, it's just, it, it hits it all for me. Anyways, I hope you guys check out Creators Guild, and... If you guys do follow them, if you guys have their merch, uh, let me know in the comments below. And maybe you guys know exactly why I love them. But <laughs> I've been following them for a good few years now, so yeah. Love you guys. Love you, Creator Skills. This is not sponsored, but hey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um... I really just wanted to share this, like, these with you because I really love what they do and, like, their designs and, you know, they're awesome. So, check them out, Creators Guild. <laughs> Alright, this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks, you guys, for taking the short time to, like, check out my new merch and, like, I'm, I'm really excited to style these and, um... Look out for it on Instagram if you guys follow me. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Pancha. See you guys later. Bye!